When I first started using Octoprint five to six years ago to wirelessly control my 3D printers, I looked into how I could do so off of my local network. At the time, there really wasn't a whole lot of information available and the only methods I saw were through port forwarding. Due to safety concerns and not wanting to go through setting up a VPN for this, I decided just to use it for file transfer on my local network, and that's how I've used Octoprint for years. Well, times have changed, and for some time now, I've been wanting to check out the Octo Everywhere plugin, which bridges that gap, allowing you to access your Octoprint instances off of your local network without having to go through any of the network setup or compromising on security. Late last year, they reached out to me wanting to sponsor a video on this channel, which was perfect timing because I had quite a few Octoprint plugins that I wanted to cover with Octo Everywhere already being on that list. So in today's video, we will be diving into Octo Everywhere. We'll go over the features of this plugin and what it allows you to do, as well as of course, how to get it up and running on your Octoprint instance. So with all that being said, and without further ado, let's get right to today's video. In the roughly one year and six months since Octo Everywhere has launched, there has been a ton of updates. From new features to speed improvements, global servers, third-party app support, and camera stream upgrades, since its launch, there has been new versions just about every single month. And not joking, I think there's only one month where there wasn't an update, where most months there have been multiple new updates or features added. Through my prior 3D printing reviews and projects, I've mentioned multiple times that I am no stranger to running really large prints that in some cases can take multiple days. And more often than not, I'm not able to sit right next to the 3D printer, babysitting it or making sure that nothing is going wrong. And so a lot of it is that I've gained trust with my 3D printers and after watching the first few layers going down and knowing the safety features built in that I trust them to be able to run a really long print. Feedback I've gotten from viewers has been a mixed bag. Some also feel the same way and they've been printing for quite a bit of time and feel confident in their machine's ability to perform multiple day prints, while there are a lot of other users that just don't feel confident or don't feel that that is a safe thing to do and they will only run prints if they know that they're going to be around and able to monitor them. With Octoprint, a webcam and Octo everywhere, you can now monitor your 3D printer from anywhere even if you're not at home on your local network, which will allow you to check in on a print and if you see something going wrong, hit stop before something bad happens. And I think that for that group of users that don't feel confident in leaving their printers running when they're away, that might be a good stepping stone in allowing them to do some of these larger projects or larger prints that they might not currently be able to do. I recently got the SaneSmart Infi 20 belt printer in, which is my first belt printer ever, and it's taken some getting used to, especially in how to position parts and getting the adhesion down on that belt material. Having Octo Everywhere and my C920 webcam hooked up on it has been really nice in preventing me from wasting filament and making sure nothing terribly bad happens to this machine. With the Octo Everywhere plugin, you get full access to your Octoprint instance, including all of the plugins and additional things that you might have installed on your Octoprint. There's quite a bit more I want to cover about Octo Everywhere, especially in the features, but let's first start off by getting this installed on our Raspberry Pi. This does assume that you already either have Octoprint or Octoclipper running. If that's not the case, no problem. I made a video on both of those different things in the past couple of months, and I will have links down below in the description so that you can get them installed, get up and running, and then jump back over here to follow along. We'll start off by heading over to the Octo Everywhere website and creating a quick account. I'll have a link in the description over to their official website. Once there, you can either click on the login or sign up button on the top or the set up now in under 30 seconds button to get started. Next, you will need to create a free account. I ended up just signing in with Google, so it only took a couple of seconds to get my account created. Once you have an account, it will show you how to install the plugin in Octoprint, but we'll quickly run through that as well. From our Octoprint dashboard, we'll need to head over to the settings page by clicking on the wrench icon on the right side of the top toolbar. From the settings page, click on Plugin Manager, which is in the left sidebar. In the Plugin Manager, you'll be able to see any existing plugins that you have installed. Towards the top, there is a Get More button, and clicking on that will open up the repository of Octoprint plugins that you can install. In the search box, type in Octo Everywhere, and it should pull only one result. All that's left to do is click on the Install button, and Octoprint will do the rest of the work for you. It shouldn't take more than a minute to install, and when it completes, you'll see a notice on the right side telling you to restart Octoprint for the changes to take effect. Clicking on that will reboot your Pi, and when it restarts, you'll be greeted with a pop-up window for finalizing the Octo Everywhere installation. 
All that is left is to click the complete your setup now button, which will link that instance of Octoprint to your Octo Everywhere account. In the Octo Everywhere window, it will ask you to create a name for your printer. This is something that can be changed later on. So if you do end up switching your Octoprint instance to a different machine, you can easily change the name there to reflect it. Clicking on the finish setup button, you will see a notice that the printer link has been established. This will take you to the Octo Everywhere dashboard where you can see your printer. And if you have a camera hooked up to Octoprint, you'd also be able to see a stream there. I do end up plugging in my C920 webcam shortly. It's not a requirement of using Octo Everywhere to have a webcam, but I do think that part of the benefit of being able to remotely access your 3D printer is also to be able to remotely lay eyes on the printer. So you certainly can use it without, but I would highly recommend if you are going to be using Octo Everywhere to get at least some kind of a either USB webcam or a Pi camera. You can add multiple printers and they will all be displayed from this dashboard. This is where the magic happens. From any computer or phone, you can log into your Octo Everywhere account and click the connect button on any of the link printers you have. This will open up a connection where you will log in with your Octoprint credentials and you will have full access to your Octoprint instance and your 3D printer. If it wasn't for the different URL on the top that doesn't show my IP address for the printer like I would normally see on my local network, I wouldn't have any idea that I wasn't just sitting here at home with my printer not far away like I normally am. Prior to actually using Octo Everywhere, I was under the assumption that you would get some control of your printer, like the ability to maybe access your file explorer, start, stop, pause and view your printer, but I did not realize that you actually get the full Octoprint instance, every plugin, every feature you're used to having, but from anywhere. Octo Everywhere has built in push notifications that you can choose to get over email, Discord, Slack, Push Bullet, and even a couple of other platforms. I currently have it set up for email and Discord, but because of the vast amount of emails I'm already getting, I think Discord is probably my preferred method of getting those notifications. This is done through a Discord bot and is really easy to set up, and you've got quite a bit of customization as far as what you want to be notified about. The default values are print finished or print failed, and that's worked out really well for me. It comes down to personal preference and there's really no right or wrong. It just depends on how much information you want to know about your current printer and your print job and what your preferred platform is. Live links were recently added, which allows you to create a shareable link for one of your printers so that others can take a look at your print in progress and look at your webcam stream. This is meant to be shared with friends and I posted a few links in the Modbot Army Discord when I was printing with the belt printer. You can add your social links as well as a link to the filament you are printing with and even a link to the model that you're currently printing. And I can see this being a pretty neat way for 3D artists to print out their own designs and share them with others. Before going into any of the other features, I did want to mention the different support roles for Octo Everywhere. Now, Octo Everywhere is completely free to sign up for and you can use it to control up to five different printers, but there are a couple of different support tiers in case you want some additional features and functionality. If you look at the supporter roles, you'll see that there are five options, but there are really two levels of perks and there are options to contribute a bit more to the project within each level. The first tier support starts at 249 a month and with that you get larger file transfers up to 500 megabytes. Unlimited notifications versus the five daily notifications included with the free account, two minute intervals of webcam feed that you can refresh an unlimited amount of times versus 30 second intervals with a cap of 90 seconds per five minutes. Additionally, you get third party app support, which we'll go over very shortly, and shared connections, allowing another user to access your Octoprint instance, which can be useful in a production or farm environment. The next level, which is Elite, is $7.99 per month, and in addition to everything in the first support level, you get unlimited webcam playback, up to 900 megabytes of file transfer, and up to 10 printers connected. I did confirm that if you have more than 10 printers you'd want to connect, that there are also options for that. I spoke very heavily to the developer behind this project. I quite literally sent over paragraphs of questions and he was incredibly accommodating. The one takeaway I got from this is that it is clearly a passion project for this developer and it is something that he really enjoys being able to offer to the community and the supporter role costs are primarily just to cover his cost for all of these servers that they are using globally to make sure that these speeds are as quick as possible when connecting to the Octo Everywhere servers. I signed up for the first tier of support and with that comes the ability to use third party applications. I don't have so much of a need for sharing user permissions because it's just myself and lots of printers and the file size expansion that you can do loading or uploading larger sizes, I've gotten nowhere near that limit but I do think the ability to un unlimit unlimited webcam streaming or at least the ability to refresh and watch the longer intervals is a pretty cool perk to have. 
So for the third-party app support, Octo Everywhere can easily integrate into all of the major Octoprint apps for both Android and iOS. Years ago, when I had Android, which feels like an eternity ago, I used to use the Printoid app, but now that I'm on iOS, I tried out Octopod. Once I downloaded the app, there was an option within Octopod to easily sign into my Octo Everywhere account. And once I received an email from Octo Everywhere for the built-in two-factor authentication, I was able to confirm that it was me. And just like that, I was able to access my Octo Everywhere instances from within this snappy little user interface. Of course, you can absolutely use just the browser on your mobile phone. And the developer did let me know there are some pretty cool Octoprint plugins that make it a bit more mobile friendly. But if you are already using an app, this is a really simple way to just integrate them with that app that you're already familiar with. As the final topic I want to cover, which is something I think is very important to a lot of people, and it was something that the developers stressed to me was also a key consideration when developing this in the first place, is security and safety. And there is a lot to be said here. The first thing is two-factor authentication. That is something that comes baked in now via email. Uh, when you create an account, you have to verify that it's you. When you add it to an app for the first time, you have to verify that it's you. And when I was somewhere else, not on the local network, you, it also makes you, it also confirms that it is you before allowing you to access your printers via needing to confirm the email um, passphrase that it gets sent to you. Additionally, if you want to add 2FA through the Google app or whatever other app you're using, you can also add that on top of the built-in email authentication that comes natively baked into it. As far as information that you have to give, it is very little. Again, I logged in with my Gmail, and if you create an account on the website, all that you have to do is give an email and a password and no other information at all. Both the connection between your printer and the Octo Everywhere server and the Octo Everywhere server and the computer you're logging in from are encrypted. And they did state that the login credentials for Octo Print that you need are not stored anywhere. So they're basically used for the purpose of logging you in and then they are dumped or gotten rid of. So that way there is no concern of a breach or any sort of bad actors. I won't pretend to be an IT or internet or networking specialist at all. So there's a lot more information that I think um, than I can cover in a blog post write up. And so for anyone that is interested in seeing more of the details, I will gladly place that link in the description so you can check out that and everything else. If you're currently running Octoprint, I highly recommend checking out the Octo Everywhere plugin. Since there is a free version, there is really nothing to lose. And if you do decide you want some of the supporter perks, again, the base one starting at $2.50 is a fraction of a spool of PLA. So it is not a whole lot to potentially give you quite a bit of utility for wirelessly controlling and accessing your 3D printers. With how active the development has been on this project and the fact that it's only been out for a year and a half, I'm really excited to see how this project continues to evolve. As mentioned, all links for Octo Everywhere and all of the various things I discussed in this video will be in the description of this video. If you have any questions about anything I covered or did not cover in this video, please let me know in the comments down below and I will do my absolute best to answer and I have no problem reaching out to get that answer if I don't have the answer myself. Also, I'd love to know how many of you have actually or are running or have ran Octo Everywhere before. At the time of recording this, it is the eighth most installed plugin for Octoprint, so I'm sure a lot of people that watch on this channel might already be running this already. If you do end up trying it out for the first time, also let me know what you think in the comments down below. On that note, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. We make a video every single week, so there's always fresh content coming your way. And if you do want to support the channel furthermore, I'll place links down below in the description over to our Patreon, where there are some really awesome rewards. Huge thank you to all of our existing Patreon supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you for allowing me to come back every single week and spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you all to enjoy. On that note, this has been Daniel from ModBot, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.